Watch the complete playlist on the app Pions. Download the app now. Question number three says, two identical charges Q each, so two identical charges Q each are kept at a distance R from each other. Great. So let's take it as Q over here. And let's take another Q. Both are Q. And both are separated by a distance of what? Distance of R. A third charge, small Q, is placed on the line joining the above two charges such that all the three charges are in equilibrium. Very important. This question repeated many times. Many times this question has been repeated. Okay. So there is a third charge, small Q, placed on the line joining the two charges such that all of them are in equilibrium. Very, very important. So this Q and this Q, they were already in equilibrium. But now when you place the third charge, the whole system goes in equilibrium. Okay. Okay. So question is saying, what is the magnitude, sign and position of the charge? So they have not said that this small Q you are placing at midpoint. They have not said. You can read the question. Some students blindly read, take it as R by 2, R by 2. No, they have not said. So let's read one more time and then we will proceed. Two identical charges, Q each, are kept at a distance R from each other, the first two charges. A third charge is Q is placed on the line joining the above two charges such that all the three charges are in equilibrium. What is the magnitude, sign and position of the charge Q? Now here we use a very important concept. Okay. See, if two people are already stable, clear? So the force acting between these two should be equal to the force acting between this and this. Now, some students have a confusion, sir, why you are asking, uh, taking this small Q and capital Q, this one? You can take this and this also. Yeah, you can take the same thing. Magnitudes are same. So, be very careful. Force between the two Qs, capital Qs, when there was no small Q, they were stable. That must be equal to the force when you place small Q here. It has to be equal. If it is equal, then only the system will be in equilibrium. So let's assume that small q is placed at d. If this is d, this will be how much? r minus d. Correct? Okay. So let's first find the force between the two capital Q charges. Let me call it as F1. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. First charge Q. Second charge Q. Separation between them r square. Yes? This was the force when there was no small q. And this force is not getting affected when a small q is introduced, which means it is overcoming this force, right? In a simple sense. So the new force will be F2, which will be equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q, q upon separation. You can take D or you can take R minus D, doesn't matter. That will give you the position from either the first charge or the second charge. Anyhow, you can do. Okay. So don't worry about that thing. Sir, should I take D square or should I take R minus D square in, in exams? Both are fine. Anyways, the answer will be fixed. Okay. So don't worry about that thing. So let me take it as D square. Clear it is? Great. So here it is F1. Okay. And that is our F2. Now what you have to do, if both are in equilibrium, if the system, whole system is in equilibrium, what you will do? You will put F1 will be equal to F2. The net force will be equated. Clear? So if it is equated, then we can put here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q square upon R square Q Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught d square. Correct? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught cancels. You left with q square upon r square will be equals to q q by d square. Let's cancel one q with one of the q. So you left with q by r square will be equals to small q by d square. Clear? Now to get it in equilibrium, okay, now we will use a concept. Now, this is our condition, but in this condition, we will make use of constant uh, concept. What is our concept? To get it in equilibrium, that small q should be placed at the midpoint. So, d must be r by 2. If you place it at d equal to r by 2, 
then we will find the value of small q in terms of capital q clear it is so if d is equals to r by 2 at the midpoint if you are putting in that condition this will be q by r square equals to small q by r by 2 whole square okay and when you simplify it further let me solve it here this side so q upon r square will be equal to small q upon r square by 4 let's take this r square by 4 on the other side so capital q one second capital q by 4 will be equals to small q this is the condition that the charge which you are placing at the midpoint midpoint now listen very carefully that is a special condition if you are placing it at the midpoint the small q should be one fourth of the capital q also the sign should be minus q by 4 the whole system will be in equilibrium only if this small q is negative 